morning, good morning. I'm Linda, the Pinky Ball Sisters in the kitchen. My sister is in the country today uh, at the Lumen Reunion, and I'm hoping we're gonna be able to make this little thing work that we're gonna try to do here. Don't know if it'll work or not. I uh, wanna welcome everyone to our kitchen. We had a very busy weekend in Wichita Falls. Always love going up there and having a good time with Carla and her family. Let me swipe these off. And um, Miranda's baby shower turned out so good. Her, she worked so hard getting everything ready and done such a great job. She's uh, following in her Mimo's footsteps with being able to design and put things together pretty. So what we're doing today is we are making homemade chicken and dumplings. Now we make the tortilla dumplings, we love them, and um, you really can't tell the difference in them, but I like the old fashioned ones too. So that's what I'm making today. And I have got my flour, and, and I guess I need to say something right now before we go any further. Um, so many of you asked for the recipes. Y'all know that our new website, we're launching a week from today, October the 5th, we want as many people to be on live here as possible. I know some people have to work, may have doctor's appointments. You can go back and watch it on replay. But if you can, we want you to be live. And you'll want to watch the whole entire show because uh, we're going to do things different throughout. We're going to have like a little mixture of things going on that day. So you don't want to miss any of it. And then we're going to tell about the new website and give y'all some exciting news about that. So uh, when we get the new website launched, you will have access. Um, the recipes will be accessible. I guess I'm saying it wrong. The recipes will be accessible. So that's why we are not posting the recipes. Um, and so I'm not, I won't give you the recipe today, but um, you will be able to access these once um, we get started with our live, with our new website. So in here, I've got my flour, my shortening, uh, baking powder, salt, and I actually put some butter in it. And you can kind of see the consistency. It's kind of the consistency of peas. I use my bench scraper to cut the butter up. I really like to do it like that. My butter was cold and I used that uh, to get it the size I wanted. I've got my liquid mixture here which is milk and egg and uh, a little bit of chicken stuff in here. So um, I'm not gonna pour all of this at once. I'm just gonna pour, um, I'm gonna pour a little bit and stir and then I'm gonna pour some more. Um, so we'll see what, and I got my broth going over there on the stove. And I got my oven heated because I'm going to make some cornbread in a little bit. But I want to get this started first. There's my oven beeper going off. So, need a little bit more of this. I got a lot of broth. So, I'm hoping I got enough dumplings for <laughs> So, I got a big pot of broth over there. Okay. I'm going to get my hands in this in a minute. I don't want it to get too wet, but I want to make sure it's not crumbly so I can roll them out. So before I get my hands in it, I'm going to wash them again. Y'all know how I am about washing my hands. I cannot stand to touch something unless my hands have just been washed and I don't like anything on my hands. They always have to be washed. I was probably the most worrisome little kid to mama because I just don't like anything on my hands. Um... Okay, I'm pour a little bit more in here. I may wind up using all that liquid. Um, sometimes it's the weather. Sometimes it just depends on if you packed your flour or not. This is looking pretty good here. I don't think I'm going to need the rest of it, but I'm going to check. So I'm going to put this aside over here. I got my rolling pan, I got my rolling mats out, my broth is boiling. Y'all give me one second, I'm gonna wash my hands and I'll be right back. I'm 
I miss my sister today. You don't realize it until there's only one in one in the kitchen cooking that um, you really do need your helper. She helps me and I help her. Now, some of you may be wondering about this red spatula here. And we do have these in white, but this red one was a special one that I earned. So you can't buy a red one, but you can, this is the classic, you can get this in white. So, um, and it's, it's actually my favorite. And they're not called spatulas, they're called scrapers, but I still call them spatulas. It's just, um, that's what I like to call them. So that's what I, I call them. But the actual name of them are scrapers. Okay, I got a really good dough here. You can tell when you're working with dough if it's going to be good or not. And this is going to be a real good dough. I've got a little bit extra flour. I'm just going to um, kind of get me a little ball of dough here. Probably I'm only going to roll half of it. I don't like re-rolling dough. Re-rolling dough makes the dough tough. Make your dumplings tough or biscuits or cookies or whatever you're, you're rolling. So I'm going to... I'm gonna do half of it at a time, but I wanna show you how nice this looks. And of course, you can't feel it, but anybody that's worked with dough knows that um, you can tell right off hand if you've got a good dough. And I want you to look at that, how beautiful that dough is. So that might not look like much, but it's gonna make a lot of dumplings. I'm gonna take the bench scraper. I'm gonna just cut it in half. And then I'm gonna lay this aside, put this over here, and get some flour on my pastry mat. And you may notice that I've got two pastry mats. I've got uh, one here that I'm gonna roll them on, and then I've got another one that I'm gonna put them on after I get them rolled, before I start putting them over there in the, in the broth to start cooking them. So I'm going, I'm going to do a generous amount of flour on my pastry mat. I'm also going to put some over here on this one. Now this flour is not going to hurt your dumplings. You normally wouldn't work a lot of flour into a dough, but this is going to help thicken that broth. And a lot of recipes will call for you to use cornstarch or something to thicken the broth. Well, I'm going to tell you something. If you do it like this, you're not going to need that because this extra flour on these dumplings is going to uh, thicken that broth. Uh, naturally so I got my heavy rolling pan y'all know I use my little one most of the time but I'm gonna use this one today you want to make sure that you keep flour on this because you want to you want to roll it out thin and um, mama has made many 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 panda dumplings she make chicken and dumplings she make ham dumplings she make um, we didn't do Chinese food. I'm, I'm, Y'all know I have a very simple palate. It's not sophisticated at all. Uh, I like good home Southern cooking. And that's just how I've always been. I was always a picky eater when I was a child. And I eat a lot of things now that I didn't eat back then. But there's still a lot of things that I won't eat too. So if you got picky eaters in your family, I know all about that. So I haven't done any kind of rhyme and reason. I just rolled this out long here. And uh, this is a pie cutter, a pie crust cutter. And I'm gonna use this so my dumplings will all be the same size. And if you're using one of these, this is, I think I probably got it at Walmart or Hobby Lobby. It's not expensive. I don't know, five or six dollars or something. But if you're using one of these, you wanna start at the, at the, at a little bit below where you're, above where your dough is. So it will cut it completely through. If you start here, there's going to be a little bit that you're going to have to go back and cut with a knife or something. So um, I'm just going to um, roll this like here. And I, I, did, I did exactly what I said. It didn't quite get all that, but that's okay. And then you just want to move over just a little bit. So you've got about the same amount, the same width. And if it starts rolling up on your roller, just um, put it back and, and it'll be fine. And then do these. And then you see I've got my ends here. And I'm just going to take my bench scraper and cut these. I've, I've already got it out. There's no use in getting another uh, utensil to dirty. 
So I'm just gonna lightly flower the edges of it. And I'm just gonna go across and cut probably about, um, probably about two inch strips. That's kinda, now these on the end here, I'm, I'm gonna cut them separate because they're, they're a little bit, um, they're not gonna be exactly the same size because they're, but you'll see how I've done them here. And I'm gonna just put them over there, lay them in this flour. I kept, I cooked my chicken this morning in the quick cooker and I cooked it for 18 minutes and I cooked, I took out two packages of chicken out of the freezer and one of them was a big chicken breast and one of them was thin. So it's about the equivalent of probably two chicken breasts. Two nice sized chicken breasts is what I, um, is what I used uh, to cook. It took 18 minutes to cook them. I had some really good broth. I used, um, we always buy the low sodium chicken broth and I used that and I put a little bit of the chicken base. It's Tone's chicken base from Sam's. If y'all uh, may have seen a recipe that says dry base or wet base, um, dry base would be something like a bouillon cube. Uh, wet base would be something like Tone's and I'm sure there are other brands. That's just what we have in this area. And uh, it's, um, it makes some very rich broth. Mary will make her broth instead of buying chicken broth. She'll make her broth just out of water and that uh, Tone's um, chicken base or beef base. And you used to could buy the ham. I don't know if you can now or not, but you used to could buy the ham. Y'all are probably wondering why I'm talking and not getting these dumplings cut. So I'll try to get this going so we can get some dumplings cooking over here. Um, so... I'm gonna get these spread out, get them over here. Don't want this to stick, so. You see our, our dumplings, they're about, they're about two inches long. I hear Mike in there. I think he's probably getting some cookbooks ready to go out. I printed invoices this morning for any of y'all that ordered um, after the 22nd because we were out of town and I couldn't print while we were gone, so I printed those this morning. So all orders from the 22nd through this morning will be mailed uh, probably uh, by tomorrow. So if you're looking for your package, we'll, we'll get those in the mail soon. Okay. And I'll get the rest of these rolled out. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of flour over these. I probably should have put that mat on a pan, but I'm going to figure out how to get it over there without, without messing up or dropping something. See, that made quite a few dumplings. That was half of it. Now, if you, you know, if you've got a bunch of company to cook for, you can always, um, our recipes that we have, you can always double them. When I bake cookies, Sometimes I make a quadruple batch at one time. It's, uh, I'm gonna roll these out, get these rolled out before I start putting them in. I wanna put all my dumplings in basically at the same time so they all cook pretty much at the same time. This is a really, really good dough. And if you like a good rolling pan, you want a good heavy rolling pan, uh, Packard Chef rolling pin is um, it's real heavy it's marble has wooden handles and it comes uh, with a little wooden thing to set in like a little cradle to set in once I get these on get these cooking I'm gonna start my cornbread I've already got the oven on and I've cooked cornbread on here lots of times and Mary has too but um, I like cornbread with dumplings. I know it's bread on bread, but I still like it. And so when I'm cooking, I fix things the way I like it. So, okay, so we got these done. Get this cut. I may have not got these exactly all the same size, but I'm wanting to get them over there and get them in the, in the broth cooking, so. As Mama would say, I'm juning around here. I want to get this over there and get it done. 
so. Um, we're um, fixing to be in October. I guess everybody already knows that, but it's an exciting time of year for us because it's the beginning of the fall. It's beginning, once the fall gets here, it won't be long till the holidays will be here. And we absolutely love Thanksgiving. We love Christmas. We just love this time of year. It's a happy time and we enjoy it because I thought about so many times the reason that Mama loved it so much was besides the fact that she got to give to her family um, was the, is because she got to see her family. And I think that's why it meant so much to her. There's nothing that a mother would want more. If you ask a mother what they wanted, it would be to be with their kids. And that's exactly how Mama was. That was she wouldn't have cared if she ever got a present or not. She just wanted to be with her kids. And I think that's that's probably true of any mother. You just want to be with your children. Okay, now, I got a whole pile of dumplings here. We're fixing to go over there and get these started in the broth. And um, <laughs> we're going to find out how good I am at coordinating something. I may have to I may have to put these on a paper plate and carry them over there because if I pick up this mat, because I didn't put it on a, a baking sheet, that's what I should have done. Um, they're going to all fall and I'm going to have flour all over the house and Mike might not, might, might not be too happy about that. <laughs> um, anyway, um, once I get these over there, I'm going to tell y'all something funny that we did the other day on Sunday. We were already so tired, so we'll get this cleaned up later. But uh, I'm going to, let's see, how am I going to do this? Maybe I just stick them in this bowl and take them over there. That might be the best way to do. Um, Mary's granddaughter. Yeah, that's going to work. And see, they're not sticking together because I've got lots of flour on them. So, hopefully, hopefully they won't stick together. I'm piling them in here. Anyway, Mary's granddaughter and her son, Mary's great-grandson, came to see us Sunday morning before we left Wichita Falls. And um, when they started to leave, I was standing up, and Mimi was still sitting on the bed. Mary got up and hugged my neck. It was so funny. She thought she was hugging Mindy. And I said, why are you hugging my neck? <laughs> she said, I thought I was hugging Mindy. It was hilarious. But that just showed you how tired we were. Okay, I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to have to wash my hands and move the camera for just one second. So bear with me while I get this done. And we will... Um, I guess I should move this first before I wash my hands. I want you to see the pot. It's what I want you to see. So, okay, let me get my hands washed. And Mary was gonna let me drive coming back and then when we started to leave the hotel she said I'll drive she Mary's a very good driver she's been driving since she's 11 or 12 years old and uh, we had already told a few people that we were going to be at the Spring Creek barbecue at 12 o'clock at one o'clock for lunch and we had some people meeting us there and um, so we knew about how long it would take us I want you to know my sister, she got there 20 minutes early. She was making, she was making time. I, I it didn't seem like I'd even hardly answered any comments before. Um, she was um, almost at 35 from Wichita Falls in the Tarrant County area. So it was really funny. I told her, I said, I guess you're glad I didn't drive because I wouldn't have been here near that quick. We've almost got our water, our water, not water, our broth boiling. I'm hoping that you can see it. Um, as soon as it starts boiling, I'm turning the burner up just a pinch. As soon as it starts boiling, I'm going to start dropping my dumplings. 
you want to make sure that they get covered with broth when you're dropping them in there. And um, this is some really, really, really rich broth. Show you. It's been strained. And it's basically chicken broth, salt and pepper, and the, the juice that I strained from where I cooked the chicken in the quick cooker. Okay, we're almost ready to start dropping these. Hopefully I don't get too many of them messed up. Dumplings are very forgiving. They don't have to be exactly the same size, but um, I try to get as many of them as I can, The you know, around a two inch by three quarters or one inch. And you could make them bigger, you could make them skinnier, but um, this is what I do. Okay, and I'm just dropping them one at a time. They feel really, really nice. It's gonna take about 20 minutes for them to cook. I've already got my chicken over here ready to go in. And I'll put that in after I get the dumplings. I'm gonna cook the dumplings first. And then I'm gonna put the chicken in there. And then I've got some uh, cream of chicken over there that's uh, diluted and whisk whisked together with some water that I'm going pour in right at the end. Mary uses milk in her dumplings, and a lot of people do. A lot, of, a lot of recipes, you'll see it calls for milk. They'll use canned milk. I don't use milk. I use cream of chicken. That's what I like, and that's what I use. And if you like milk, then you can use milk. That's fine. It's just everybody likes different things, and I like the cream of chicken. It's what I like, and I buy the 98% uh, fat-free or the healthy request, whichever one is available. Oops. These are going to be some good, good dumplings. Mike is probably going to ask me why I cook so many because it is a big pot. But we're going to we're going to be able to enjoy them for a couple of days at least. We don't mind eating leftovers. Um, usually after we've eaten them a couple of three times, we're, we're probably pretty much ready to move on to something else, but uh, we, do, we do eat them. Okay, I'm gonna turn my skillet on over there to start getting hot. I'm gonna mix up my cornbread. After I get these going. Goodness, I miss my sister. Seems like when there's one cooking, there's just one talking. And I don't want to bore y'all. Get y'all bored. Okay. I'm going to move my bowl out of the way. Wash my hands again. I'm going to grab some milk and an egg with a cornbread. Everybody has their own way of doing cornbread too. I just, I have a certain way that I do mine. I like mine cooked real crisp. And um, so I start off my oven at 425. And then I cook it for a little bit and then I bump it up to 450. don't want to mess with these dumplings much. I remember hearing mama say, put them in there and leave them alone and let them cook. I do need to set my timer though. Okay. I'm going to see if you can see that they're rolling, boiling, and then I've got my skillet heating here the cornbread. And I've got an egg here. I use extra large eggs. That's what I always use. 
I've got my cornmeal, I've got a little bit of flour, some salt, and some baking soda. And yes, I mean baking powder. And yeah, I do put salt in my cornbread. Just a little. Sometimes I even put pepper in it, depending on how I'm feeling that day. Okay, I'm going to turn this down here because I got it on high. I'm going to turn it down to medium. That's this milk in there. I'm not using a whisk with this. Most people probably use a whisk with cornbread, but I'm not because um, I just didn't get one out. I just got, had a spoon out, so that's what I'm using It's a spoon. I don't like my cornbread thick, so this is the consistency that I make it. And get this out of the way. Let me get some, let's see if I got this going. In the skillet, I've got some uh, vegetable oil and a little bit of bacon grease. I'm gonna turn that up just a pinch. And I think it actually needs a little bit more oil in it. I like good crispy cornbread, and to do that, you need you need a good amount of oil in the bottom of your skillet. Now, this is a pre-seasoned chef iron skillet. Whoops! I dropped my spoon. Okay, now I need to fish it out. My spoon is too little for the bowl. Uh, Shoot it down that spoon when it's gonna work. This is our new um, uh, our new bowl, uh, one of the new fall products. And it's good, um, it's microwavable, which is uh, we're real excited about that, that you can use it in the microwave. Let's see if we can get a smoke on this skillet here. Turn that up. I'm going to check my dumplings. And you'll see my chicken here. This is a lot of chicken. This is about equivalent of about two big chicken breasts. And I've got chicken broth in it because I didn't want it to dry out. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in there now um, and let that cook in it. That's looking real, really good. And we'll add that cream of chicken to it later. It's going to make it nice and nice and creamy. Got to get this cornbread on because it ain't going to be done if I don't. I guess I should have already had this heating almost ready to put the put this in there i got my oven set on 425 and i'm gonna cook the cornbread for about 20 minutes and then i'm gonna bump it up to 450 and cook it another five minutes i cook my cornbread about 25 minutes a lot of people don't a lot of recipes don't call for you to cook it that long a lot of people make cornbread that's kind of cakey we don't put sugar in our cornbread i'll tell you a little secret our daddy did our daddy put sugar in cornbread and and uh, there, on occasion, I might put a tablespoon of sugar, but I don't, um, as a general rule, I do not put sugar in cornbread. Um, but uh, a lot of people like cake cornbread, and we've been to a lot of restaurants before where the cornbread was like really, really thick, and they would cut it in squares, and it was more like a cake cornbread. And I like any cornbread, I'm not going to lie to you, but I like the way I do mine the best. And... Not that I think I'm the best cook. Not that I think that nobody else can't make cornbread. I just make it the way I like it. And that's how I like it. So, okay, now we got a smoke on here. So now we can pour this in here. Mama always said you could put cornbread in cold grease or hot grease, but don't ever put it in lukewarm because it would stick. Now, these are non-stick Pampers Chef skillets, so... It probably wouldn't stick, but I like my oil to be smoking before I put it in. 
the oven. So here we go. Put our cornbread in here. And I'm gonna set my other timer for 20 minutes because I've got the timer on the microwave set for uh, the dumplings. So I'm gonna use my little timer here and I'm gonna set my minutes to 20 minutes and hit my go button. And then I'm gonna um, set this here and I'm gonna move this back over here and I really, want to, I really want to stir those dumplings, but I know you're not supposed to stir them, so I'm going to leave them alone. But I am going to taste of them and see. And I don't think I'm going to have to add any salt. I'll probably have to add some more pepper. But I'm going to taste of the broth. That's hot. Now, you'll notice this, the broth is pretty thin. It's going to thick. It's going to thicken up. It just needs to cook a little bit more. And then when I pour the cream of chicken soup in there, uh, the diluted cream of chicken soup, it's going to make it creamy. So it's going to change this right here, and it's going to give it a more of a creamy um, liquid to it. We definitely don't need to add no more salt. I salted the chicken. And, um, and then I put a little bit of salt in the dumplings. But this has very little salt in it, so when I put this in here, this is my cream of chicken that's whisked together with uh, some water. I've got some extra water there in case I need it, but I don't think I'm going to need it. I just want to get this um, going here. I'm going to add a little bit more black pepper. Actually, I'm going to use the cracked black pepper. This always smells so good when you grind that fresh black pepper in there. I think I turned that down too quick. I'm going to turn it back up. It's not going to boil over because I'm using this big pot here. This is a, a nine quart pot. Y'all might remember this is the one that I used at the reunion, um, the Lee reunion back in June to fry the pies in. This is a huge pot. And I've got the lid here. Once I get it done and I want and I turn the burner off, um, I can put my lid on it and this lid will catch on the handle there. And that's really nice when you want to take the handle, take the lid up, then instead of laying it down and everything running everywhere, you can just attach it to the lid. I love how that works. So we got the cornbread cooking, we got the dumplings cooking, and um we got our cream ready, our creamy chicken ready to go in there when we get ready to, um, when when this almost gets done, I'm going to put that in there. This has got a milk content to it, so when you're adding milk, you always add it at the end, like if you were going to add canned milk like Mary does, because it will boil over. And we have a thing to put over the pot to keep it from boiling over, but I didn't get one of those out. But we do, Pamper Chef does have those. Um, now... I guess we need to talk a little bit about the um, about our launch next week for the website, and I'll try to keep this on the um, the cooking too on the pot. But next Tuesday, October the fifth at ten o'clock um, Central Time, that's Texas East Texas Time Central Time, uh, we are going to launch our new website. We're going to be doing things all through the hour. Uh, we won't be cooking uh, during that first hour. We, we, we may come back on and, and bake some cookies after we get through. But um, the plan is to, we're going to talk. We're going to have, um, we're going to have a little different things. Like uh, we, we may have a couple of songs going and uh, maybe some pictures to show y'all. And um, it's going to be a fun time. And we're going to have drawings. Now, most of the, the prizes, you have to be on watching us live to win. There's one thing that will be awarded after. But um, we, we want y'all to watch. We want you to tell your friends about us. We want you to tell your neighbors about us. Tell your church about us. And uh, get as many people watching as possible. Um, October the 5th, 10 o'clock. Make sure they're watching 
the one that's got um, um, the pink cupcake on it. We're a public page. We're not a group. Uh, so all they've got to do is like and follow us. And I know this has taken a little bit of time. And I know that uh, there's only one of us talking today. So it's probably not as entertaining as it is when Mary is with us. Or is absolutely not. Because Mary will keep us going. But um, uh, I want to show you the finished product. And the only way I can do that is stay online until we get through. And I'll show you the dumplings with a piece of cornbread. So... Um, if y'all stay with me until we get these done, then we'll dish up a, a bowl and I'll show y'all what they look like. And they're looking good. They're boiling real good now. So, and the chicken's in them. And this is nine quarts. I'd say I probably have got this just a little over half full. Uh, and when I add this extra broth to it, these dumplings soak up the broth. When I add this extra cream, creamy chicken to it, it's going to go up a little bit more. So... Um, it's, this pot would probably serve, when I get through, probably would serve, I don't know, maybe six or eight people, depending on how hungry you are. Um, and if your family likes dumplings, some people don't like dumplings, but we love them. Molly always made good dumplings and we love those. So, um, uh, we may do some questions and answers. So if y'all have some questions and answers, that you would like, or maybe um, maybe if you have some now that you want to ask, um, let me know um, what they are, and I'll try to, I guess I need to see the comments on here, and I'll see if I can see the comments, because Carla won't be able to call the other phone, because Mary's not here, and this is the only phone I have here. So if y'all have some questions, not um, uh, I'll do my best to answer them, and if I can't answer it, I'll tell you I can't answer it. Uh, we're excited too, Denise. We're very excited. We've worked very hard on this. Okay, she said, can, uh, Lou Ellen said, can you add peas and carrots? You absolutely can add peas and carrots. You can add um, celery. You can add vegetables to your dumplings if you want to. I don't prefer them with the vegetables, but if you want to add them, you absolutely can add them. I would add the peas probably at close to the end because you don't want them to turn to mush. But um, carrots probably would need to cook a little bit longer because unless you dice them really um, uh, thin, they probably would need to be added a little bit. And what I'm making is I'm making homemade chicken and dumplings and a pan of cornbread. And yes, I do miss Mary. I miss her tremendously. Um, on the cornmeal and flour, I add about three parts to cornmeal and one part flour. So if you're making a big skillet, you know, uh, just judge it that way. Three parts of cornmeal, one part of flour. And um, and then, of course, you need some baking powder and an egg and some milk. Uh, oh, that ceramic jar said, that's that's so old over there. I had all my other stuff out and uh, a long time ago. Mike set those out. He got them somewhere. I don't know where he got them at. Um, we love our people. We love y'all from all over. We have so many people from different parts of the world. And I just saw one on there from Canada. We have so many good um, uh, Canadians that follow us. And we just love y'all so much. Uh, let's see. She already laid out pork cutlets, but she's going to make dumplings tomorrow night. Okay, let us know how they turn out. And I wish y'all had a bowl, too. I wish that we could just have every one of y'all in here and have a bowl of dumplings and a big piece of hot buttered cornbread. Um, on the Pampered Chef, Mary and I each have pages. Mine is, um, our, our personal websites are posted on our Pinky Mouse page. But if you will message us, we will or we'll message you when the program is over and let you know uh, what our links are. We can't give them to you here because we have to follow the guidelines. But hey, Misty, um, let's see. I hope Catherine and Logan are watching with you. If Logan's through with his homework. And let's see, how long do you cook the cornbread? I cook the cornbread at 425 or 20 minutes and then I turn it up to 450 and I cook it another five minutes. Um, is this pot sold separately? Yes, it is. This is part of the set. Well, it's not part of the set. It's an extra piece. This pot is $300. It has a lifetime warranty. The pot, it comes with a collapsible colander. 
um, and it also comes with the lid. I believe the lid has a five-year warranty and the colander has a three-year warranty, but the pot has a lifetime warranty. What I love about these, these handles do not get hot. They are absolutely amazing. Um, and the bowls, I can't give you any prices or anything like that on this page. I'll have to give them to you on another page. We have a lot of people in England too. Hi, hi there to our England and London followers. Uh, tell Catherine that I said hi. I wished I could give her a hug. This is one of my little great nieces that I love so much and Misty, my niece. Um, let's see. I'm trying to, I'm trying to see as many comments as I can and read them that go by. So if I don't call out your name or answer what you're saying, um, it's not because I don't want to. It's just because they pass by. On the dumplings, you're going to, going to want to cook the dumplings about 20 minutes. So, um, and yes, from Kentucky, bread on bread. We love cornbread with dumplings. Um, hi, New Jersey. We have lots of Kentucky people following us, lots of Florida, lots of uh, North Carolina. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't, I don't want to start calling out uh, states because I'm going to miss y'all because we have people from every state that follow us. Um, Pennsylvania Dutch style with homemade pasta. That sounds delicious. Uh, there's another one from Canada and Sayersville, Kentucky. My, for those of you that don't know, my husband was born in Kentucky. We love Kentucky. Uh, let's see here. Um, hi from London. Catherine is watching. Um, do you guys ever watch other Facebook cooks? To be honest with you, we do not have time. I mean, this is like a full-time job and then some. Uh, certainly not that we would want to. We just don't have time to do any, uh, to watch anyone else. Um, this pot is not cast iron. It's titanium. It's reinforced titanium. So this is not cast iron. The skillet is cast iron, but this pot is not. Hi, Houston, Wisconsin, Georgia, Arkansas. Uh, thank you for all the kind comments. Do you ever make old-fashioned peanut butter cake? Um, I know Mary's made a peanut butter pie. I don't think we've made a peanut butter cake. Uh, we have everything planned throughout the end of the year, but we will add some more things uh, at the beginning of the year. So if we don't get cooked what y'all want, well, we, we'll add something next year. What time do I get up and what time do I go to bed? Well, I'm gonna tell you something about the Pinkstons. When our eyes open, you can forget sleep. If it's three o'clock, if it's four o'clock, if it's five o'clock, once our eyes are open, we're up. We're up for the day. And I hardly ever get in bed, probably before midnight. Um, if I'm extremely tired, I might go to bed around 11.30, but most of the time, I don't go to bed until around midnight. Um, and Mary does the same thing. Mary wakes up really early. All of us, our brothers and Mary and I both, we're early risers. And uh, we've always been like that because that's how we grew up. Uh, for the dumplings, you can use self-rising flour. You would just omit the salt and the baking powder. So, yes, you can. In fact, some recipes call for self-rising flour. I don't use it. I use it. I use the all-purpose. Another Kentucky... Uh, Rapid, City, uh, Rapid City, Illinois. Um, and for those of you who are asking for the recipes, we're going to have our recipes accessible on our new website. We have been working on this for months. We, we prayed about it. We, we cried. We uh, discussed it. And we had so much, um, so many issues with the recipes. And we just, we all come to the conclusion, um, of course, Mary and I make the decisions, but we do get input from Linda, little Linda and uh, Carla and Chuck and Mike. And so we, we feel like we have done the best possible option. So starting next week, the recipes will be accessible. My buzzer is going for my dumplings. So let me... Look at these and see. I guess I could turn this off, couldn't I? Um, see, it's gotten real thick, and I'll put the I'll put the uh, camera back down on the um, 
on the pot so you can see them. There, that that juice is. I'm gonna turn this burner down too, but um, that juice has has really thickened up. You'll see. I hope you can see those. Now, what I'm fixing to do now, the dumplings are done, but what I'm fixing to do now is I'm going to add this, and I'm going to use the whole amount, and this is going to have to heat up because this is, um, you know, wasn't hot, of course. These whole bowls are perfect for something like this. I whisked, whisked the um, cream of chicken in there so I didn't have to dirty another bowl. And now I want, I want you to see, when it starts boiling, I want you to see the difference in, um, in the texture of the broth. I'm gonna wait just a minute and then I'll take it out. Let's see if we can get back to the questions. Um, okay, um, how do you do the dumplings? You'll need to go back and watch the video because I'm, I'm not gonna have time enough to go through that all again. Um, there's Florida. Um, our cookbooks can be purchased at PinkyMouseCakes.com. We'll give you the new website next week, but for right now, you can purchase them there. Purchase them there. Um, we won't give you the name of the website until uh, on our on our live launch next week. So that's why we haven't told you the name and how for you to get to it. Um, text in September birthdays. Thank you very much, Sandra, for mentioning that. Um, you will need to text um, this week. Um, if you haven't already, please text it to this number. If you text it to any other number or if you send it any other way, you will not be included in the drawing. Your name needs to go and your birth date, not the year, we don't need that, to 903-235-4804. That's 903-235-4804. 4804. Only September birthdays. August is past. If you have one later, you'll need to post those at a different time. We'll have the drawing um, um, October 5th, first thing when we start our program. We'll tell the winner of that. Hi, North Carolina. The baked goods, we still do bake. We just don't bake to sell because we do not have the time. We just don't have the time. Um, Alabama, Lots of Alabama people watching us. Uh, another Kentucky, and I'm sure I've missed some things because I was looking at my, um, my dumplings. The live launch is October the 5th, a week from today. We'll be on at 10 o'clock Central. There's Tyler, Texas. Hi, Texas. Um, uh, we have your aprons. Evelyn said me and my sister have your aprons. We do have the white aprons available now on the website. Uh, Wyoming. Uh, another uh, Alabama, Brazil. Hi, Patricia. Welcome to our, our program. Um, and let's see. Um, no, you do not have to buy Pampers Chef to be in the birthday giveaways. The giveaways are done on Pinky Malls. That has nothing to do with Pampers Chef. It's just a birthday drawing. We started this back several months ago. Um, thank you from Pennsylvania. Another one from Texas, K Kentucky, LaPorte, Texas. Um, I wish I could just say everybody's name. Uh, let's see, California. We have lots of California people. Missouri, Independence, Missouri. Um, I know I've missed so many. Yes, a lot. Um, oh, Mary's watching. Hey, Mary. <laughs> I miss you. Um, okay, let's see here. Nairobi, Kenya. So we have um, Africa is... is um, is represented here, represented here, Kansas, lots of people from Kansas, California again, and uh, fried cornbread cooked in a skillet is good. I do like fried cornbread, and I do cook fried cornbread sometimes. Another Missouri, um, make dumplings all the time, North Carolina. Um, let's see. a number. The number again for the birthday is 903 
uh, Ohio. Lots and lots of friends from Ohio. Mike was born in Kentucky, but he was raised in Ohio. And we have lots of good friends in Ohio that watch us. Um, okay, and and it's okay that you put your birthday on here, but if you do, you won't get counted unless it's texted to that number. So just FYI, if you want to be in the birthday drawing, it has to go to the number that I just gave y'all. And uh, yeah, we miss Mary. I miss Mary. I really miss Mary. South Carolina, go Ohio State Buckeyes. That's my husband's team. He loves Buckeyes. Uh, let's see. Um... Uh, and remember, if you're texting this phone on the birthday, it won't get in there. It's got to go to 903-235-4804. And that's the only way you'll be in the drawing. Hi, Michigan, West Texas, West Virginia. Okay, my buzzer's going off here. So I'm going to bump my oven up to 450. And I'm going to set it for five more minutes. And then I'm going to... Um, Get a plate out to put the cornbread on. And let me check this. These dumplings. Oh my goodness. I wish y'all could smell them and I wish you could see them. Taste them, not see them. Taste them. They are, they really do look good. Let me just. You'll see that that broth is, is much creamier now than it was a few minutes ago. I'm gonna taste it. It's so rich and good. Oh my goodness. I love chicken and dumplings. I don't usually leave a bowl that I've had cornbread in without running some water in it and that's what I was doing just running some water in it and I will get um let's see let me get a plate to put the cornbread in and get some butter here I love hot buttered cornbread cornbread by itself when it comes right out of the oven with a bunch of butter on it. So I got my bowl for my dumplings to, di uh, to dish my dumplings up in. Uh, this is Pampered Chef. They come four to a set and there's two this color. These are made in the USA. There's two this color and there's two sandstone and uh, you can actually bake in them. You can put them in the microwave. Um, Okay, Mary said she's almost to the campsite, and um, she's taking a lot of food because Mary's doing a lot of cooking while she's down there. On the cornmeal, uh, do I use self-rising cornmeal? Um, I do, but I still put in baking powders, so um, I do use self-rising cornmeal, and I put in baking powders. I'm going to turn these dumplings off. They're ready, and I'm going to get them off, and it's almost time to take the cornbread out. Let me get a knife to cut it with. And I appreciate y'all staying with me. Um, I know we've lost some people that were on at the beginning, but I'm glad the ones of y'all that are still on with me, I'm glad y'all are still on. So y'all are going to get to see what this looks like when we take it up. Thank you for all the stars. So many times we fail to mention that, but we do appreciate that. We appreciate all the nice comments. Um, and I say this a lot of times, um, this is a site that's wholesome. It's not a site for anyone to say anything out of the way. If it is, um, we'll take care of that. Um, we do not advertise on this except what we've authorized. So make sure that you're not putting links or anything on here. And y'all know that, um, um, y'all know how I am. I just don't like that and, and we don't want to it, it creates extra work for us because we will take care of it But it creates extra work for us. So please respect that and uh, of course I'm saying this and the ones that do it does it don't respect anyway so, <laughs> All the good ones are not gonna do it but <laughs> I guess that was funny to ask somebody to respect something knowing good and well if they're doing it They don't have any intentions of respecting it, but um 
again, um, not to be negative. We, we do love y'all. We appreciate y'all so much. We thank God for y'all every day. We love that y'all love us enough to follow us and um, uh, support us in so many ways. And uh, we appreciate that so much. So uh, we're almost ready. I think I can probably wash my hands, get the dumplings dished up. And I guess I'll just get a tray out. Since I didn't get a pretty tray, I'll just get one of these out to dump, uh, to um, dish this up. And you see, I've got lots of broth in here, and I like lots of broth. It's got a lot of chicken in it, but it's got lots of broth in it. Doesn't that look delicious? So here's our dumplings. And we're fixing to get this cornbread out. I need to turn this around. Okay, our buzzer's going for our cornbread. So we're going to get this out. Whoops. Oven steamy. And I told y'all I like my cornbread crispy. Most people probably wouldn't cook it that last five minutes, but I do because that's how I like it. So y'all see my nice crispy cornbread? I'm going to turn it over on the plate. And yeah, I'm going to move this out of the way. That is hot. And I'm going to cut... Nice piece of cornbread. Get me some butter on here. Whoops. I dropped that, so I'll just get another piece. Washed a minute here. Get this butter off of them. Now I'm not going to put this back over to the table because I've got a lot of stuff over there and it's still there. I haven't been able to move it because I've been working when it's just one person. But um, I'm going to show y'all what this looks like. Nice bowl of chicken dumplings and a big piece of hot buttered cornbread. And yes, I miss Mary too. And y'all know I'm going to put some more pepper on my dumplings. So I'll just let y'all see what they look like. Put some nice black pepper on them. So, I've been on here just about an hour. So, I guess I should just take just a bite to let y'all see. I like cornbread with my dumplings, so this is my bite. Not to brag on my own cooking, but I am going to brag on it because it was absolutely delicious. And when I get off of this, I know it's early. I didn't eat breakfast. I'm going to eat me a bowl of dumplings and we'll have some more for supper. So don't forget to come on next week. Um, make sure that you count your blessings every day. We should find something to be thankful for. And if you're around anyone, whether it's on the phone or out in public, show a little kindness to someone. You never know what that might do to that person. Uh, there's been so many times that people are crying on the inside and they have a smile on the outside and you don't know that they're supposed to be an over the edge. So remember to show a little kindness and to count your blessings. We love y'all, Miss Mary, but um, don't forget next, tu uh, next Tuesday, October the 5th at 10 o'clock, and I'll be on cooking something Thursday. 
Um, I'll be on again Thursday cooking something by myself again. I may make something sweet Thursday. But um, y'all be sure to join us. And we love y'all. Miss Mary. Love Mary. I love my sister. And um, if you need our other pages, send us a message. Let us know. And we'll do our best to get back to you soon. Bye.